Here is a Northwind sample app with standard membership enabled. Press instructions to view the standard accounts and a login button. Let's sign in using the standard administrative account. Once logged in, we can see the first letter of the account name in the top right corner. Pressing the user button allows us to view the currently logged in account, as well as access the My Account form or log out from this account. We can also add additional accounts or manage the list of accounts. The user management screen displays us a list of accounts currently logged in. We can also add an additional account. Let's log in to the user account. Now that we're logged into the user account, it shows the letter U in the top right corner. The user account is shown first. We can also switch to the admin account at any time. On smaller devices, the user button is not visible in the top right corner. We can access it via the menu panel. Press the user button. We can switch between the different accounts because I check Remember Me when logging into the account. If this option was unchecked, I would be forced to enter the password again in order to switch to a different user account. Users that have multi-part names will show the first letters of the first two words on the user avatar. Let's go ahead and create a new account. Under the User menu, press Add Account and press Sign Up Now on the login form. Press Sign Up to create the new account. Now we can log into this new account. You can see the letters JD in the top right corner. Instead of showing the letters, we would like to show a user picture. We will need to add a table to store these pictures. Switch to SQL Server Management Studio and connect to your database. Let's create a new table in our database. This table will contain the column name, username, and a picture column. Mark the username as a primary key field. Let's save the table. Give this table the name User Pictures. Switch back to the application generator, select the project name, and press Refresh so that we can see the new table. Let's create a model from the User Pictures table. Go ahead and save the model. We will need to mark the username field in the user pictures controller as a username lookup. Press finish and open the project designer by pressing design. In the project explorer, Switch to the Controllers tab. Expand the User Pictures controller. Expand the Fields node. And double click on the Username field. Set the Item Style to Username Lookup. 
and save the field. Let's run the app. Notice that our session has expired. The user manager screen will be displayed. We can select an account to sign in with. Switch to the user pictures page. Let's add pictures for each of our three users. Next, we will need to ensure that the correct picture is returned for each user. Switch back to the project designer. Press develop to open this project in Visual Studio. In the Solution Explorer, right click on the app code folder. Let's add a new class file. Name this class application services .override .cs or vb. Let's replace the default contents of this class file. Specify a namespace of mycompany.services. Let's add a partial definition of the class application services. Let's override the default implementation of the user picture image method. First, let's import mycompany.data. Let's use the SQL text class from mycompany.data to select the picture from the database. This class provides a wrapper to directly access your database. Filter the query to only grab pictures that match the current username. If the picture is found, Then we will read the picture into a byte array. If the value parameter is not null, then we will return this value converted to an image object. Here is the equivalent code in Visual Basic. In the namespace My Company Services, declare a partial class Application Services. Inside the class, override the function User Picture Image. Using the SQL Text class, select the picture from the User Pictures table. Assign the requested username as a parameter. If a result is found, then get the picture as a byte array. If the byte array is not null, then convert that byte array to an image class. Switch back to the running app in your browser. We will need to sign in one more time to pick up the new pictures for each user. Notice that the admin picture is now visible in the top right corner. Let's sign in for the user account. The new user picture is visible as well. Finally, let's sign in as John Doe. John Doe's picture is now visible as well. We can view all the pictures under the user menu. These pictures will also be displayed under the account manager.